The 60s had a profound effect on many people. It was a time of great change, great hardship, and great people just trying to get by. These are their stories. The attitude of the 60s was one of paranoia. The assassination of JFK, of JFK really propelled this, which is one of the great strategies of the decade. Ah, what a beautiful day in Dallas. I wonder what the lady scene is like. How's the driving? Good. It's dying time! Bullet. Well, that's the... Oh my goodness gracious. Ah, yes. I remember long ago, back before I was in the Vietnam War, I was in a bit of a counterculture group, one might call it. Okay, class time. Roll call. J. Boris and Drama Smoot. Here. Charlotte Ean Bingus Roth. Here. Uh, Togo Peter Boiler Room. Uh, Togo Pete is just fine, you know? Connor Howells. Uh, I'm, I'm pumped to finally be able to Jay Gatsby. Yeah. Um, what do you mean? Frederick Douglass. Well, now that me and Michael O'Leary have a band, we can is, spread um, our message. Is Tim here? Uh, you know, it took a while, but you know, is we're Tim finally here? here. We're musicians now. Does anyone, is Tim uh, here? Ah, yes. Is Tim here? <laughs> Michael O'Leary, is he? Oh, uh, that's me. Uh, Ron Smith? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's Ron. Okay, class dismissed. Okay, wait. Hi, I'm Togo Pete. Togo Pete! Charlene! Let's have some fun! Hi, I'm Michael O'Leary. How should I be out of You know, the 60s were known as the sexual revolution. Contraceptives were more readily available, but counterculture was, uh, was going against those conservative family values. <laughs> Only have one nostril. Across the world, the U.S. was engaged in the Vietnam War, which was being escalated by the new president, LBJ, or LBJ for short. I'm an enthusiastic man who waged war at full strength against poverty and North Vietnam. Ah. LBJ had a plan called the Great Society to eliminate poverty by increasing welfare benefits, social security, education, transportation, etc. He also used JFK's assassination to pass the Civil Rights Act of 1964 to carry out his legacy. You know, I'm uh, I'm really happy that this uh, the Civil Rights Act of a uh, 1964 was passed. I may disagree with some of LBJ's policies internationally, but this, I can stand behind. I'm Tony OP. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, this was one of the last civil major. Unfortunately. No. What are you doing? <laughs> Michael, you're just gonna put this all in. Don't put it all in. Just put, take the best take. Unfortunately. This was one of the last major civil rights victories. Oh, ha 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 ha! I didn't see you there! Hi, I'm Historian Pete, and uh, I'm here to tell you that counterculture movements were very common in the 60s. I was even in a band. <laughs> Rock got popular in the 50s, but oh boy did it blow up in the 60s with The Beatle, Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, Jackson 5, etc. One, two, one, two, three, four!
Heck yeah. yeah. Whole lot of fun. I don't know. I, I just I don't think we're judging enough. Maybe we should try it again. Yeah. From the top. Okay, let's do this. Just gotta make sure it's in tune. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Tensions in the United States grew as war escalated. Alright, that's a wrap everyone, we got it. Good job. Nice job. Someone, uh, someone... Hey. <clears throat> What do you guys think about the war? LBJ is killing a bunch of teens and I don't like it because uh, we shouldn't be there and it's not great and I'm not a big fan. We need patriotism. Kill the communists. I am conflicted. Two conflicting opinions. Bye, commies. This is a band that fits the time period. All right, everybody, start to file low. You're all welcome into the draft of Vietnam, except you, Charlene, you're a woman. You're not welcome. Thank you. Oh no, how could this happen? <laughs> Many Americans did not know to go to Vietnam when drafted. These few were called drift dodgers. If they fled to places lo uh, like Canada, or they uh, burned their documents and kept on living their life. See you. I'm Togo Pete. See you on the other side. Don't cheat on me. Goodbye. <laughs> ah, here we are at Dershit, Indiana. Ah, yes, at the draft station. I'm gonna miss this place. Stay safe, Togo Peter. <laughs> Go. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Ron, and uh, as you might be able to tell, uh, right now since I'm dodging the draft, I'm living in the middle of the woods. This looks edible. Ah, poison oak probably. Huh, well, I know there's no one here, which is why I'm talking to myself. And uh, it's, it's sure, I'm sure losing my mind just a little bit, uh, not being around anybody. Ah, okay. uh, fellow draft dodger. Where's face? My sunglasses fell. Hello, fellow draft dodger. The moon is the sun when it's dark. You know what, guys? Very nervous about this. Yes! Yes! I miss my girl. I hope I come back safe to her. Yes! You know what, guys? I'm really nervous about this. Ah, uh, yes! Hi guys, my name's a French Toast Pete. Wow, he looks like Ron, but much braver and more patriotic. That better be a compliment or I'm gonna cut off your toes and eat them. Toe time! <laughs>
I have a really long. Ding! Wow, the marvels of modern technology. Listen up, you num 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 nuts! We have the most important job in the entire war on our hands right now. General Wu Hing Tan is moving south, and we're the only battalion close enough to stop him. You understand? Ah! <laughs> you no. say sir to me. Ah, sir. Yeah, you captain. <laughs> wow, that general's name is a racist version of Washington, as if to signify. The Vietnamese are revolutionaries, and that the U.S. has become the tyrannical power. Wow. Uh.